Come along as we step into the iconic Preservation Hall in New Orleans, where for over 60 years, the greatest musicians in the world have played. Walt Disney Imagineering hosted a panel all about the music from the upcoming attraction, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Here are some of the best moments from the panel, which started off with a huge announcement. You know, we talk about the name of our attraction, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You know, it was, an, it was announced here one year ago. But what we're here today is to make another special announcement about our music guest. This man is a well-decorated artist in the worlds of R&B. He's a native New Orleanian, multi-Grammy Award winner, writer, producer, arranger, musician, and an amazing human being. Also, he's writing an original song for us, as well as arranging songs for Princess and the Frog. Please welcome to the stage, P.J. Morgan. <laughs> Morton is one of the music producers for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, and much of the music will be recorded right here in New Orleans, including an all-new original song. With music from the film being so well-known, PJ Morton talks about the challenge of writing new music for the attraction. Well, I mean, I'm a huge Randy Newman fan. Um, he's, he's done such an amazing job with not only th that, that movie, but so many, you know, he's made me cry a couple times, Randy. Um, but it was exciting to me, the idea of creating something original for this. Um, and, uh, but that was also a challenge, you know, just trying to, uh, all the songs are so well done. People are very familiar with them now. To, so to try to, uh, the challenge was to try to fit in with what already existed, but also bring something fresh and move the story along. You know, I'm appreciative uh, of this team, all of you, because I was allowed to be myself. We know as New Orleanians, you know, in the room, uh, how many times people tell us how New Orleans is supposed to be uh, presented. And we've seen movies and things where it's like, okay, you know, that's not necessarily my home, but all right, I, I see what piece of New Orleans that is. But these guys are being so intentional about making sure that the story is told in an authentic way and that the music is done in an authentic way. Everybody who I'm bringing along to be a part of this is just very authentic to New Orleans and very real, you know, not trying to uh, make a caricature of, of what New Orleans is, but really just being, being our city. <laughs> Music was literally everywhere a part of my life, but I think New Orleans is the is one of the only places where you'll find fourth generation musicians, you know? I am the real, real, you know, I'm born and raised in New Orleans, but I also represent um, something else, which I think is, you know, moving forward as well. You know, we talk about our past a lot, but sometimes we stay there in New Orleans and, and we only talk about that past, but there's also so much happening with this new generation of New Orleanian musicians who respect that and love that, but also bring it forward. And I think that's what this, this whole thing is about. It's omnipresent. So whatever you do here, uh, music is the underbed. I didn't fully appreciate that until I left home uh, and noticed, oh wait, it's not music, you know, everywhere I go. And it's not music a part of everything I'm doing. Now I gotta, I gotta capture this magic and, and um, you know, historically, that magic was captured and brought to New York and brought to LA and brought to Chicago um, because the industry wasn't necessarily here, but the magic was here. So for me coming home was, I'm gonna take care of my own magic here in New Orleans and, and really shine a light on my own magic that I grew up with um, because I have a different understanding and a, and, and a full appreciation for it. With music being so iconic in Disney Parks attractions, Ted Robledo tells us why Tiana's Bio Adventure deserves its own theme song. The people who love Princess Tiana, the fans, you know, I think they deserve more, right? More of what was captured in The Princess and the Frog. And I think that's what we brought folks on like PJ to help us deliver, deliver, deliver more of what's already great. We need a theme song. It deserves a theme song that people are gonna be humming and singing all the way home. And I think we've seen examples of that last uh, you know, few days. It's a privilege to create brand new Disney music for an attraction in the park. 
Because like me, that song for It's a Small World, I can only hear it when I ride that ride. A Pirate's Life for me, I can only hear it when I ride that ride. People will only hear the magic that PJ is bringing, probably not because we're going to spread it out to them crazy. <laughs> it's going to go they're everywhere. Not gonna, they're not going to hear it for real with Tiana being right in front of your face until they come to either Magic Kingdom or Disneyland and they experience Tiana's by adventure. That, that gets me excited. <laughs> panel wouldn't be complete without a special gift. A huge part of our storytelling are the characters, and characters with story and, and emotion and whatnot. But well, we use these characters to tell the story and move it along, but they're the touch points that a lot of people recognize. Oh, that's that's the genie, that's Moana, you know, that's Stitch, that's, that's Belle, that's Tiana, right? But I think that the music and this song, the song that, that, that BJ, you brought, is as much of a character, you know, and as much of a storyteller to Tiana's By Adventure that we wanted to cement that. And we had a very talented artist at Walt Disney Imagineering uh, sort of like show how much you are just as much a, a character. In our story. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You know? And um, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Thank you so much. Yeah.